This is what I have learned in my pursuit. Most pitfalls are not permanent problems. I want you, no matter what age you are, to not lose hope. Because hope dies last in many of us, but we live on shells of our former selves, until all of a sudden, pleasure becomes passion. When passion is a commodity, there's hardly any meaning in its pursuit, and devoid of meaning, you might not want to get back up after falling down. I've decided that I should be more passionate about YouTube from this moment on, because I am simply fed up with killing time. I hope that you may choose the same with whatever it is you feel fervent about in your life. Yahoo YouTube! I am Super Genki, and in today's video, we shall dive into the depths of an elusive word in the English language known as passion. The word itself, passion, derives from the Latin root pati, which means to suffer. The veracity in this linguistic statement lies in the fact that passion is what moves you to persevere at something despite fear, unhappiness, or pain. I must say, as someone who has chased this elusive term around the world, I'm not sure if it's meant to be caught. The constant pursuit has led me to both wellsprings of joy and pitfalls of suffering. More pitfalls than wellsprings, however, the suffering is made bearable because of its meaning. When working for something you believe in, you might just find yourself willing to endure the things of life, and in time become a person who looks back at the struggles fondly, because whether or not you catch your passion, you will discover more of what life has to offer along the hunt. I'm 24 years old YouTube, and today I woke up at 3.30 in the morning, and thought to myself, why am I having such a hard time with YouTube? And it came across to me, it's kind of hard to be passionate about something in a world full of distractions and instant gratification. When I was younger, I was given an opportunity to be passionate about life through exposure to Japanese mediums at a very critical time in my development. But most young ones did not have the same exposure as me. Most young people were not given the option, and it made me feel something for my brethren. I could only describe this feeling as sympathy, a first in 2020 at that. We just happen to be the most connected generation of our species, but that does not mean we are somehow exempt from normal human emotions. While scripting this YouTube video, I dove into this thought a little deeper, and I realized, wow, I'm just not passionate about YouTube anymore. I'm just doing this to kill time. Killing time is not a phrase I like to use lightly, however I find myself here. I have been on a quest to sustain my passion for the past five years, and it has taken me all around the world yet I still find myself miles behind where I want to be. I'm just not so certain that I can ignore the questions of uncertainty when they arise, because those are pitfalls, and the pitfalls are plenty along in this journey, but they are not permanent problems. This is what I have learned in my pursuit. Most pitfalls are not permanent problems. Which brings me to today's subject, picking a passion. My passion is my creation, Super Genki Life. It's an idea based around a lifestyle, and chasing after this lifestyle has led me to a life I have enjoyed. However, what I do not enjoy nearly as much is social media, the need to share my experiences with others. I do enjoy telling people about my stories and giving them motivation and positivity, but the art of making thumbnails and making tags and posting videos and sharing stories it's just not my forte. It's not the passion I picked, but it does come with the territory. And this is where the majority of my suffering comes from. However, I don't think that suffering comes from the act of engagement in social media, more of the mindset of killing time. And this happens to be one of the biggest pitfalls I have constantly found myself falling into along the journey to finding my passion. YouTube, if you have picked your passion, know that it will come with baggage. Be ready for a life of discovery, but don't be fooled into thinking you will only discover the good things. I want you, no matter what age you are, to not lose hope, because hope dies last in many of us, but we live on shells of our former selves, until all of a sudden, pleasure becomes passion. However, pleasure is something that is often not in our control. In a society of instant gratification, Pleasure is something that is to be bought. If the demand exceeds the supply, then you might find yourself 
in a line of 200 people to buy a Wii at 6.30 in the morning at Toys R Us. If supply exceeds the demand, the pleasure will become cheap. When passion is a commodity, there's hardly any meaning in its pursuit, and devoid of meaning, you might not want to get back up after falling down. So I would like to ask you a few questions today. What is it you are passionate about? If you do not have something at the moment, I'm curious. What wakes you up at 3.30 in the morning? What is something that gets you excited and out of bed? Learning can be a passion, by the way. It does not have to be something so specific. My passion is the lifestyle, and it only became specific after living in Japan for one year. Are you complacent with your passion? Are you actively seeking it out? Or are you just waiting for the next paycheck to get your fix? What are you willing to do to go after it? This is your roadmap realization. So best not to skip this question, or you might find yourself lost in the next week. And finally, ask yourself, why is this my passion? Oftentimes, we are blinded by infatuation, an infatuation that leads us down the road we did not originally intend to travel. But the time is not lost, as long as we can pave a path back to our original intention. In my opinion, time is never lost when living a life of discovery, because it is the act of discovering that increases the knowledge base of the traveler. I have decided that I should be more passionate about YouTube from this moment on because I am simply fed up with killing time. I hope that you may choose the same with whatever it is you feel fervent about in your life. Because make no mistake, it's a blessing. That's the video for today, YouTube. That's the video for today, YouTube. If you made it this far, please leave a comment and tell me how you felt after watching this video. I eagerly await your reply. Ta-ta!